Women in Afghanistan have made great legal and social gains over the past decade, due in large part to the efforts of women human rights defenders. Peace negotiations with the Taliban has many worried that women's gains will suffer setbacks. But women have repeatedly made it clear that their rights are not up for negotiation. Perhaps this is the reason why advocating for women's rights has turned into a deadly endeavor in Afghanistan. Women human rights defenders regularly receive threats by phone, online, and in writing. Some hardline and religious groups also use their media outlets to smear women activists and threaten them with violence. Over the last few months, however, in a campaign of terror, a number of civil society figures, including two female judges, a women's rights activist, and several female journalists were assassinated. On December 10, 2020, unknown assailants gunned down Inikas TV and radio journalist Malala Maywand, who was on her way to work. Her driver, Mohammad Tahir, was also killed. No group has taken responsibility. Fereshta Kuhistani, a women's rights activist, was assassinated by unknown gunmen on motorbike on December 24, 2020. They also killed her brother, Shahram. On December 13, Fereshta wrote on Facebook that the government was not doing enough to protect her. Fazia Kufi, an MP and women's rights defender and a member of the Afghan delegation in the peace negotiations, was also targeted for assassination while traveling with her sister in August 2020. Kufi has received repeated threats and concerns for her safety continue. On March 8th, we remind the government of Afghanistan about its obligation to ensure the security of civil society activists, especially women human rights defenders, and urge authorities to conduct impartial and independent investigations into the spate of assassinations and bring all those responsible to justice.